Hey guys, I'm going to do another quick recommendation. Uh, the reason I do quick recommendations for the most part instead of full length reviews is because I think that the films that I do quick recommendations for are better left kind of unknown. You walk in a little bit more blinded than my other reviews, which are basically breakdowns of the whole thing and have a lot of spoilers thrown throughout. So, uh, this is a movie that is now currently streaming on Amazon Prime, and I just randomly threw it on one night. Literally knew zero about it. I saw somebody put it in their top 10 of, you know, like 2016 list, and I was like, I've never even heard of this, and it has Michael Barrymore in it. You know, so I was like, eh, Michael Barrymore isn't really a big draw for me. He's not really you know, a big, you know, a big name of any sort. I mean, he's been in some cool horror movies, don't get me wrong, but he's not a name that I'm like, oh, Michael Berryman's, or, uh, Berryman's in it. Like, so, but I was just like, fuck it, you know, I'll throw it on. I'll check out the first five minutes. I I sat there, I pressed play, and I sat there for the first 10 minutes, jaw dropped, stunned. Like, I couldn't fucking, I could not stop staring at the television. Now, granted, a little bit of that is due to the fact that I straight up thought this was going to be garbage. Like, garbage. I thought I was going to press play and it was just going to be low-budget trash that it wasn't interesting or anything. The first 10 minutes of this movie feels like a fucking nightmare. And what I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in an excellent way. Like, literally, being inside someone's head as they're having a nightmare... That's the way it felt for me. And uh, anyway, the movie is called The Evil Within. Um, I bought it the second it finished. I have, as I said, I pressed play on an Amazon Prime. The second it finished, I went on, on Amazon and I bought it. I bought it instantly. They don't make it on Blu-ray, which is such a bummer. But now... The not only is the film amazing for me, I personally thought it was fantastic. Yes, there's there's things about it I could nitpick, and it's not a perfect movie by any means. But the production behind the film, once I looked that up, which I didn't do till after the film because I was seriously so stunned. There's plenty of films that I fuck around with my phone with. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I try not to do that with any films I review. I have purposely, that's why I take notes, to be honest, so that I will fucking focus, because we're all kind of addicted to our phones now, and I reach over, and I kind of start playing with it, and I miss shit, so I'm trying to not do that with my reviews, and with this, I wasn't even doing reviews when I watched this, and I literally couldn't look, walk, like, I couldn't look away from the screen. I just thought it was so great. Like, I just thought it was so original and unique and just such a cool movie like and as i said the production behind it is such an interesting story this meth head millionaire dude this is the only film he ever worked on he worked on it for many many years it went through production hell he, like they filmed like over nine years it take to complete this fucking film. They kept bringing it, like the only person who made it through all of the production was Michael Berryman, um, who kept coming back to do the reshoots and whatnot. They just kept losing it. I mean, this film has Sean Patrick Flannery in it and and Dina Meyer from you know um, Starship Troopers and whatnot. Um, but the real standout here is this guy Frederick Kohler, which I've seen him in stuff. I've definitely, you know, I, I, he's one of those guys that you're like, I know him. I know his face. And you go Google him and you're like, I've seen like 10 movies with this guy. But I can't remember him in those movies. But now I know I know him because I've seen a bunch of movies he's in and his face looks familiar to me. Uh, he blew me away in this movie. Like, I'm not fucking with you. I straight up think the guy should be like nominated for an Oscar for this film. I know people will probably think that's absurd, but he plays a mentally handicapped kid who also is playing this 
evil version of himself and they're back and forth. It's incredible. I mean, I've never seen somebody who is mentally handicapped on film better. Like, I think there's performances that are as good, like, you know, like a, a Sean Penn in I Am Sam or something, but not better. I don't think it's, I don't think Penn was any better. Like, this guy blew me away with his performance. Absolutely blew me away. This film has, you know, as I said, once you watch this, check out the, check out the, you know, the behind the scenes, the making of the production. You know, he, he went in and he was like editing it for like five years in his mansion where he shot this, almost this entire movie and he became obsessive about it. Like he kept going back and re-editing it and cutting it and splicing. And then the movie feels like that. It feels chaotic. It feels like somebody who was on methamphetamines and was chaotically bringing this and this and this and just re-editing and recutting. And, you know, it almost reminds me of like, you know, the Winchester Mansion. It's just this hodgepodge of insanity everywhere where it's going on. But somehow there's still a coherent screenplay and story and everything actually meshes together and I'm never I wasn't confused of what was going on it's odd it's definitely bonkers at times but I never felt lost it never was like oh my god what the fuck you know any questions I had that were arisen during the film were good questions were questions that kept me invested kept me wanting to go on and whether or not they were answered it didn't matter at the end like everything felt finished it felt good it felt you know there was finality to it so um and the last 10 minutes is fucking fantastic the guy died you know the 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 director died like before this film was ever even finished and someone had to finally come in and finish this. Now, I don't know what his cut may have looked like. So maybe they cleaned it up and made it more coherent. Uh, They took like another year after or something to put it, maybe to piece it back together. Maybe it was a total jumbled fucking mess and they made a coherent film out of it. But whatever happened, I mean, it sucks the guy had to die. It's a shame that that kind of stuff has to happen. I hate to hear things like that behind the scenes. Um, But... What an incredible film to come out of it for me. And I've definitely talked to people who think it's really good. And then I've read some reviews here and there that think it's garbage. You know, whatever. I thought it was fucking fantastic. So definitely check it out. This was not a quick review or quick recommendation, I guess. This one's running longer than normal, but... I'm just so excited about it. I feel like I could talk about it for fucking hours. So anyway, I'll leave it at that. It's on Amazon Prime. I highly, highly recommend checking it out. It is unique at least. So you'll see something that you haven't seen before. All right, guys. Bye.